Hey guys, we are continuing our Metroid run from last time. I'm using this new emulator now. Hopefully, hopefully the password works. Uh, last time, where how far did we get last time? I think we were walking around Crate Slayer or something like that, and um, kept dying. And one of the reasons I was dying, in addition to um, you know my lack of skill, is that whenever I took damage, my sprite would essentially become invisible, and I think it was because the emulator I was using was doing some like frame skipping things, so it kept skipping. Like when you take damage, your, your sprite flickers is what's supposed to happen. And um... oh, nice! Looks like the password worked. So when you take damage, your sprite flickers, sort of like how Samus is flickering right now. And so the previous emulator was like skipping every frame um, where I was visible, I guess, and, and it was only rendering the the frames where I was invisible. And that made me, that made my character completely invisible. And that made it really hard to play because when you when you took damage, then you couldn't see your own character, um, and so you couldn't fi could not figure out where you were. Like if you fell off a platform or something, it was re really hard to recover. Anyway, so some of my viewers recommended a different emulator, Higan. That's what I'm using now, and I did do a little bit of a test run, and, and I did confirm that it looks like. Um, if I take damage with this, uh, in this emulator, I, I'm still visible. At least to me, I'm hoping I'm still visible on the stream also, but I guess I'll watch the VOD to find that out. So I, my understanding is this is Kraid Slayer. On the right hand side of the screen you can see I got my manually drawn map. Um, so I, I believe I'm in this room here. So. I, it says here I gotta use a bomb to get through. Oh, there we go. Dang, how many hits does this guy take? Oh shit! My, yeah, I was about to say I'm screwed here, and I am screwed here. Man! This game does not give you a lot of hit points to work with when you spawn. I really wish um, you would spawn full health, but you only spawn with 30 health, apparently. Okay, but that's fine. We're just getting warmed up. Let's try this again. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Oh shit! <laughs> I went too far. How am I already almost dead? Should I farm this? Oops. 
guess we're farming this. I'm sure at this point that farming is um, such an important aspect of this game. Like, I don't know that, unless you're, I guess unless you're really good, I don't think this game, you can do this game without farming. Because, like, you'd have to basically do it, like, no hits. Because I, I think, like, you take... Some of these enemies do, like, 20 damage when you touch them. And so... If you only have, like, 30 hit points, that's that's two hits right there. Even with, like... Usually I only farm up to 100 hit points. Even 100, that's still five hits. I guess, I mean... Five hits is, like, Cuphead level, I guess. <laughs> and, I mean, Cuphead is considered difficult, right? So... It is what it is, I guess. My cat is going crazy. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but he's running around in my room. I guess he's... Sometimes cats have that hunter's instinct and they just start chasing shadows or whatever. I'm glad I found this technique for farming, actually. So I was having a lot of trouble farming earlier in, in last run, but I, I found out what I was doing wrong before is like... Um, so after I kill these guys, they drop the pellet, right? And so you walk over a pellet and then you have to jump to get back onto these bricks. And I used to like do as short a jump as possible. So like the theory being like to, to get my feet onto the uh, bricks as quickly as possible so I can turn around and start shooting the bad guys. But it turns out that's not what you want to do. You want to jump really high because that's going to cause the first bug thing that spawns to also go high. And you just let them fly by, and that gives you time to um, recover and then get you know position yourself to shoot the next fly that comes out. Okay, so maybe I'll do one more cycle, and then let's move on after this. Oh yeah, and actually, sorry, <laughs> two more cycles. So this one and then one more. And the reason I want to do one more is because uh, I want to be on this side when I end. And the thing is, if you leave that power up there, then they stop spawning. That's another thing I found out. Wow. Can't believe he hit me. Okay, so I definitely went through this door, and now we have a vertical shaft. And what's weird is, I feel like... I don't know if, if maybe this game is non-Euclidean, but I'm worried that this and this... Like, does this door and this door lead to the same place? Because this looks a lot like the same place. Um, so we're at the top of the shaft. Oh. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> so... It's, it, it is the same room, it's just... Um, oops, wrong color. There's just two doors to this room. That that's why. Because last time, last last playthrough, I was in this, I was drawing this part of the map, and I got like super confused. And that that's what I was missing. I was missing that this this vertical shaft has two doors into it. This one and this one. Okay. So do I want to go through here? I don't know yet if I want to go through here. I may. I guess I will. I was trying to debate. Do I want to explore these sections first? Or do I want to try to go down all the way through here? And I guess I'll go down all the way and then try to get through this section. So fake quicksand. <laughs> Take damage because like screw you, right? So purple cube transitions. This looks like this looks like what was intended by purple cube transitions. And oh my god, like how many hit points does this guy have? I'm gonna die from this. I should have okay. Let me just switch some missiles right away, because I think it's the same thing here. Yeah, screw that guy. Okay, then there should be missiles, which I don't know if I got them or not. Oops. <laughs> Shit, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, how do I want to do this? I guess after I kill this, the flies, I'm going to move to the platform on the right. Oh, hi, Mark. 
Is that the, uh, you're tearing me apart, Lisa? <laughs> Reference. Oh god. Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Nice, got the missiles. Yay, more Metro? Yep. We're continuing Metro before I forget everything. Oh shoot! <laughs> Just leave me alone! Gosh darn it. Okay. Um. <laughs> so we're here. <laughs> You're turning me apart, Lisa. Yeah, we're back here. I guess let's try going to the right. I remember the right being brutal, but maybe maybe I got them better since then, and so maybe it's not so bad now. Who knows, right? We can only hope. What the heck is this hopper guy doing? Oh, too early. I want to get the hopper guy, but... Looks like he's stuck in this loop now. Oops, shoot. Well, maybe I'll reset the, the pattern on the hopper, hopping guy. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, one more hop. Oh my god. Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm screwed. Somehow I made it out. Oh god. Uh, okay. Let's not do that door. Let's do... Uh, let, let's do one of those doors. Three doors down or two doors down. Let's go down, down, left. So here we are. Farm this guy for a little bit of health, hopefully. Nope, no health. So down, farm this guy a little bit. Nothing. Down one more. Oh nice, okay. Nothing. Now let's check this door out. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Okay. How do I want to deal with this crap? Can I even like get through here now? Or am I screwed? Wow! Where am I? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm here, but this is also a vert room, apparently. I was not expecting this to be a vertical room. Oh, this is the top of it, I guess. Tell me your secrets. Nothing? Whoa, okay. He almost launched me into that guy. How about here? Any secrets here? Here. Nothing. Why did this guy suddenly turn around? I don't understand their AI yet. Ok, 
Okay, so this probably just leads right back to, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> For some reason, I wasn't paying attention. Um... <sighs> okay. Let me adjust my map a little bit, because I think I screwed up the map again. Just wait till I finish spawning. So it's something like... Hoppers and torpedo birds here. Hoppers and torpe torpedo birds down here. And it looks like it's gonna be like this. Like this. And like this. And where's my line arrow? Here we go. And there's a door connecting these guys, and there's a door connecting these guys. That's what I think is happening. So let's go to all the way to the bottom and then to the left to confirm the other side. Actually, let's farm this guy for hopefully health. Nope, no health. Oh god. <laughs> Why is this game so brutally hard? Metroid is like the Dark Souls of Metroidvanias. <laughs> Rip. Oh man. Actually, I keep forgetting to like... I look down? I can't even look down, so I don't know where the next enemy is. There we go. Missiles. Thank you. Just what I wanted. No, that's what I really want. Yeah, so this guy, he turns around. I don't understand the algorithm. Is it just random? Does he just decide to turn around sometimes? And is there any way to make that jump? Wow, doesn't look like it. How can that not be a secret? Come on. Almost, but no, I don't think I can make this. Alright, so let's check this thing here. Wow. Alright, so I think I only have two choices of where to go then. I can either explore this area or this area down here. I think I'm gonna explore the top area. Cause it's less distance to travel when you when I die and need to respawn. Oh fuck <laughs> yeah. These googly eyed bastards. What kills me in the transition between doors? Unbelievable. Maybe I just need to go for it. Like, I'm trying to do that part like slow and steady, but maybe I just need to like book it. Well, at least I got a better pattern now for this, for the hopper. I 
make that jump. Oh god. Am I screwed? I think I'm screwed. Oh god. Okay, I need to figure out how to lead those bugs so that when I jump... Like, I, if I jump, I can sort of control their height. So I gotta figure out what the timing is so that when I jump, um... I can, like, get them to be in a position that doesn't get in my way, basically. Please give me a good jumping pattern. No, you gave me the shitty jumping pattern. Fuck it. Wow! He chased me through the frickin' door. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Screw this. Well, so much for that. First thing I see when I come in, game over. GG. Yeah, I mean, that that's this game, basically. Oh, I want that. Whoa, whoa, whoa what was that? <laughs> I had a little bit of lag there. Oh, shit. I blame lag. Get me out of this shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good now. And I want that. Uh, come on, let me grab. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna hit that. Just run, just go, go, go. Get the fuck. Oh god. Duh. At least you're not achievement hunting. If I, if you had achievement hunt, you would probably be throwing controllers by now. Um, I always have the most trouble with the first Metroid. I also am having a lot of trouble with the first Metroid. This is actually the only like the, I've I've played Super Metroid, but um, but I haven't beaten Super Metroid, and I'm just trying to go through the series basically. Oh, and I got the shitty jumper pattern. And I don't know, maybe that was a mistake. A lot of people warn me, like, that the first Metroid is super rough. So... But I was like, you know what, I can take it. You know, how, how bad could it possibly be, right? Like... It's, it's just a video game. This game kills players fast. Yeah, uh... It does. <laughs> For some reason... I thought you would have- I thought you you played this already, Kiwi, so I thought you would have known. Fuck it. Just go. Okay. So after the missiles, we finally finished that freaking room. There's some sort of vertical shaft, and I don't really have- the right room. Maybe I do have enough room to, to draw it. Let's do it like this. I have not. You have me mistaken with someone else. I mean, you're the one that told me to um, to farm at the specific spot or something like that. You know, which usually a person would only say that if they know the game a little bit, I thought. I had assumed. Apparently that was a false assumption to make. Okay, we're at the bottom. Oh, so that's okay. That makes the, the map a little bit easier to draw. For some, I didn't realize we were at the bottom of the the map. So it's more like this. Finish this room here. I've seen bits here in different people's stream, but I never played it myself. Okay.
If you want to start without the difficulty of remediating GPS cause your emission. So what I'm trying to do, and maybe this was a dumb idea in retrospect now, now that like I'm here, I'm trying to play the entire Metroid series um, in release order. So Zero Mission is like the fourth game that I'm going to play or something like that. Three. I'm counting how many doors are. Okay, so three doors. So it's like, let's see. One, two, three, something like that. Hang on, let me redraw re this rectangle a little bit. Something like this. Now we're gonna check this one. I'm getting a little bit of lag there, but I guess that's okay. Oh no, the power up disappeared. Fuck. <laughs> I think next shot's gonna kill me. Oh, fucking hell. For sure, that's pretty cool though. I'll definitely be watching. Okay, thank you to heal. So I'm all the way back here now. It took me a lot of effort actually to get there. I don't know if I want to go for it again. Uh, who cares about missiles? I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the hopping pattern is on this guy. It's a bad pattern. Uh, I don't think I, I can get that. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> ah. It doesn't help to respawn volunteer energy after inputting passwords. Spend more time farming energy than anything else. Okay, I'll take I'll take your advice because I assume you know you know the Lego games have online multi. I'm not sure. Kiwi, if the online games. If the Lego games have online multi. This is this even the best spot to farm? I feel like this is not a good spot to farm, actually. Shit. Wow. Where is a good spot to farm? Don't fall in. Wow. Is that a wall glitch or is that supposed to happen? Sound like an area. That is supposed to happen. That is... There are hidden... There are walls, like it draws a wall, but there's no actual wall there. Fake walls, I guess you could say. I don't even know where to go to, to farm. Man. Maybe if I go down. Maybe one door down is a little bit easier to farm. So not this door, but then the next one down. Anywhere with an overabundance of low-powered enemies. I mean, in theory, these fly, these flies or insects or whatever they are, aren't that bad, right? It's just fuck. I forgot. I forgot that this guy's here. Wow. I think he respawns because I backed off a bit. Yep. What's next? Fly guys, okay. And a fucking hopper. Does the hopper respawn? Oh fuck. 
Oh, they can hit me even in fucking ball form. What the heck? Nah, not too bad, but with this game, any enemy can become a headache because of the timing. This, this freaking fly stopped spawning. Oh god. I'm surrounded now. I want to farm these, <laughs> these freaking flies, but they stop spawning. Fuck. Oh god. Okay, actually these hoppers aren't so bad, like, it's, but it's costing missiles, but I guess I don't really care too much about the missiles. Flies? Nope, no flies. What the hell? That so hit him. I can't believe that didn't count. Oh god, now they spawn. And now they stop spawning. <laughs> like, this game is just trolling me. What the hell is this? Okay, at least I found a pipe with that spawns flies, so now I can actually farm. When I take Hopper, I take Minecraft Hopper. I didn't even know Minecraft had hoppers. Like, I don't know what a hopper is in Minecraft. So we're gonna go for the full farm this time, like 300 HP or whatever it is. I don't know if that's 300 or 400. I guess that's 400 HP. This is my max right now. Go for the full farm and then we'll go down. We'll go to left and then down that vertical shaft. And then explore the purple cube transition area. That I have on my map here. I hope you get a power up later on that increases the damage your shots do, because this is actually quite a hassle. Having that map up definitely helps. I never thought of doing that when I play. Uh, so when I started playing this, like, I, th I think it was yesterday or two days ago? It was probably two days ago. I tried just playing it like, just like a normal modern video game, right? Like just, whatever, I'll just wing it. And, I, and what I quickly realized is like, every room in this game looks the same. Like, there's like eight rooms that look exactly like this room that I'm in right now. And I was getting lost like really, really bad. And so people, like the viewers kept telling me like, just draw a map, right? And I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to draw a map. But but I couldn't like figure out where I was or, or where I've been or whatever. So so I caved in and I, and I drew the map. So here we are. Where am I even? I'm in, Okay, I know where I am now. So I have the map, but I don't have the quote-unquote compass, right? So I still have to, like, remember in my head where I am on the map. Wow, come on, give me a power-up. There we go. I really hope there's nothing that insta-kills you in this game. Like, like, you know, like the spikes in Mega Man or whatever? Because if so, it's gonna really... 
really suck when I spend all this time farming and then I touch something that needs to kills. How many freaking flies is this? Come on, give me a power up. What the hell is this? Not that I remember. Don't quote me. It's definitely been a while since I played through. I think the lava is the biggest problem. Okay. What the heck? How long is the stream of insects? I might have to, like, walk away or something, I don't know. Does that reset? It doesn't even reset it in any way. Oh, shit. Wow, okay, I am... I need to get out of here, because I am losing all the farm I just got. Alright, they stop. Oh, God! Fucking trolling me, look at that shit. I just lost, like... What, 200 hit points right there? Because I was like, I was above 200, now I'm like at 137 or something like that. This game's brutal. Should I go back and farm or should I just go? I feel like I should just go. Let's just go. Lose health, you know, because like, screw you. <laughs> Unavoidable. Alright. So there's going to be a hopper immediately, so that's why I'm switching to missiles. Fucking... Basically unavoidable. <laughs> Such a... Oh shit. Scared to show me that alert. <laughs> Welcome, Codenat. I think that's the host alert, right? Like, so thank you for the host. Oh god. I'm screwed. Oh no, I'm not screwed. But I am immediately now. Okay. Oh god. Okay, made it. We're good. Maybe. Oh fucking hell. What the fuck? My I lost I lost focus on the freaking on the on the game. Okay, I think I have focus again. Like this alert came up. And then it, it took focus away from the game. And I couldn't control my character anymore. But we're good now, I think. A <laughs> map you noob. I this is a freaking hand drawn map. It's not this is like old school hardcore shit, not noob shit. Speaking of which, where the hell am I? I think I'm in the the place that says missiles in the bottom bottom part. Well, you can just infinitely farm energy. You know what? You really like this is it's not as easy as it looks. But yes, you can in infinitely farm energy here, and you need to because like each enemy does like twenty damage or something like that, and. Each pellet only gives you like five health. You just stand there and shoot down. I do not. I don't think so. You can't even shoot down in this game. Like you can, you can shoot up or sideways. You can't shoot diagonally and you can't shoot down. You need graph paper. It's not official. I mean, I can probably turn on grids on on the uh, drawing program. Dragon Warrior. Oh yeah, that was a classic. But then, like in Dragon Warrior, the the game the instruction manual came with a map. I think right or did it not? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Like, before you guys, Kotnat and, and Sepute, before you guys are here, um, I spent, I don't know, 10 minutes farming to like 200 HP 
and like like two enemies gang up on me and I was like I was like 130 HP or something like that like they took off over 100 health in like I don't know three seconds this game is, is brutal in, in how much damage like how slowly it gives you energy and, and, and how quickly it takes it away I was actually, um, like, just going for it in a sense, like, I think trying to get through the rooms, like, with just 30 HP and just avoiding damage, but it was way too difficult. Like, there's so many things that can hit you. And a couple of my viewers, including Two Heal, recommended, like, you just farm. Like, <laughs> that's the way you're supposed to play this game, apparently. So, so here I am farming. Farming so slowly to heal myself. Pretty sure it does, yeah, I'd have to check. Hang on, <laughs> I wanna... I have to half watch what I'm doing and half read the chat. I'd have to check it out, but... Before I met my wife... I would sit for hours... A day listening to trash and playing Dragon Warrior Good Times. That does sound like good times. I never actually beat Dragon Warrior. I think I, I got to like the last boss, the Dragon Master or whatever, but he kept destroying me and so I was like, screw it. I got sick and tired of, of grinding. Oh uh, god, are we in this infinite stream again? So this is the thing, like once once they do this infinite stream, I don't know how to disengage without taking damage. Like I, I want to run away. But it's gonna... Oh fuck. Oof. Fucking hell. And this is where I lost basically like all- everything I just earned right now in that last farming thing, I've, I've lost. Essentially, right? I'm back to 42 HP now. And I don't know if is this an infinite stream too, it feels like it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be infinite, so I have to make another run for it. And so I'm gonna be screwed again, like, because I, I never know how to disengage from these guys without taking at least a little bit of damage. And usually, like, a lot of damage. Oh, just let me out! Just go, go, go! <laughs> okay. And yeah, that's it, so... Wait, where the hell am I? I don't think- okay. <laughs> I'm trying to- like, what I'm scared is, am I back at the, um... Hang on, let me kill this guy. So this room, right here, looks a lot like this room here. But I don't think it's the same room. And I think they just- they're just reusing, like, map assets. So this is another vertical room. And there is an exit here, which I don't think I can get. I can't make it through this thing yet. There's like bomb jumping, but like I don't think you're intended to to use this bomb jumping thing to get up there. Like I think some speedrunners can do it, but I can't do it, and I don't think that's the intended way. So I guess we're gonna explore up. Oops. Does this lead back to the other one? Fuck you, okay. It does, okay. I think. I think this is the... So, so I think... I think that's this room now, here. So there was the... And that's what I'm talking about when I say like, this room looks exactly like, like this room. So there was a... Purple cube transition room here. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is this and like it's not yet another um actually hang on maybe this is I need to I need to um save more room or maybe I just need to bring this out a little bit further. 
let's bring this out so I have a bit more room here. It's gonna be purple cube transition room. And this leads into here, which means I probably need to bring this out a little further again. Oops. Come on, something like here. And my line drawing tool. So this is into here. All right, I hate this freaking hopping guy. Okay, got him. Sometimes like he just, like he's moving while I'm just chill, still transitioning into the room and he can hit me. Like all the enemies can deal damage while you're transitioning. Oh fuck it, that's it, it's a fucking dead end. That was the whole thing. So there's no point in coming down here. <laughs> it's all a dead end. What a piece of shit. Just second that there isn't like a freaking troll secret entrance here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh man. Okay, so this basically leads you nowhere. <laughs> so then I guess I do have to explore this upper region up here. This is such BS. Why would they design a map like this? Alright, where do I want to go from here? Can I even go up? I can't even go up from here. I think it's literally faster for me to just kill myself and then respawn and at the top. Okay, so now we are up here at the top of this gray vertical region. And I guess you're intended to go to the right here then. Because everywhere else is like a dead end. <sighs> Already getting the low health warning. I could try to farm again and then come back, but I don't know, that seems like it's going to take a long time. But what's going to take longer, like trying over and over again and failing the top path? Or just farming <laughs> and then... Okay. I don't understand what controls whether or not they spawn. Or what sometimes they just spawn infinitely too. I don't know what controls that.
I'm dead. Oh god. Oh, the hopper didn't spawn back, okay. Okay, I think we got a good pattern step now for farming then. So I don't know, like farm to 200, 300, and then, and then we'll try to proceed to the top right door. Assuming it lets me. Assuming it doesn't start another infinite stream of insects that I can't disengage from. This is the weirdest Steam game I've ever seen. There are some pretty weird games on Steam. <laughs> you can get a lot of... Actually, you know, I was about to say, they didn't they just uh, um, enable like adult content on Steam? So you can get like, like adult games, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And didn't they take out like greenlit? They didn't, didn't they just say like anybody can post anything and they don't give a shit anymore? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what? Maybe we said the S-word again. What, st Steam? Am I not supposed to say Steam on the stream? By the way, Nick, I'm, I'm a little bit ashamed to admit that I did not um, watch your Metroid... <laughs> Metroid playthrough. Is there, like, seriously, like... Are you supposed to be farming, like... Is that how you're just the intended way of, of being this game? Just like farming for HP the whole game, basically? Oh shit, I said the S word. Steam? Is Steam the S word that I shouldn't be saying? Yeah, farm fest. Also, like, what, what do you do when this happens? Like, when, when those insects just go into an infinite loop? Is there a way to, um... Safely disengage from this? Or like... Or is there a way to, like, reset it so that they don't infinitely spawn? <laughs> the real farming sim 2018. I mean, 2019 now, right? They get released an update every year, and new DLCs and all that. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do, because, like, whenever I try to run away or disengage from this, I take damage. Oh, I made out that time. You can control them with your horizontal movement. You can control them with your horizontal movement? How do you control- Do you mean vertical movement? I know you can control them with your vertical movement, but... Is there also an, a, a horizontal aspect that I don't know about? Wow! Screw you, Hopper. Vertical? Yeah. I know about that thing. But like, can you control like the spawn? Like, you see how it's infinitely spawning? Can I do anything at all about this? Or am I just screwed? Because I can't even like rush and jump past them because there's that freaking drill bird at the top that, that's gonna like fuck me up. Oh god, see? Oh, I took some damage there. Those flies are always spawning, but there can only be one on screen at a time. That includes if they leave a drop, they won't appear there. Yeah, I know about that, but... How do I make them leave a drop? Because look at this, like sometimes they go into this mode where, where they don't drop, and so they just spawn forever. I feel like I'm just screwed now, right? Like I can't... Like I'm gonna try to jump over them, but there's another freaking drill guy on the ceiling, and he's gonna hit me as soon as I jump over them. Fuck, 
Fuck it. Just run. And then he hits me while I transition through the door. That's like the biggest screw you in video game history. You you should not take damage while you're transitioning between rooms. That's just unfair. Okay, whatever. I have 100 HP. There's, yes, it seems like you can me so many drops in the room before you have to leave. Okay, so I have 100 HP. Let's let's try to do this. Although I got the shitty hopper pattern, so that sucks too. Oh god, I'm fucked now. I am so fucked. Oh, I made it up. Just let me out. Let me out. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. All right. Back to farming. <laughs> Hopefully I can get more than 100 HP before I'm kicked out of the room. That's Metroid for you guys. Oops. What's this room? Is this room easy to farm? No, this room does not look easy to farm. Getting out of here. And now I'm taking fucking damage. I noticed you're using a better emu than last time. I only watch a bit last. Yeah, I, I switch emulators because because um, of that thing where when you take damage you flicker and you become invisible because of frame skip. That made the game way too difficult. So I found an, an emulator without frame skip, and so so that I can always see myself even when I take damage. Let me think here. I want shots and then... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I wanted normal bullets and then I want to switch to missiles. You see how sometimes they stop spawning? I don't understand what controls that either. Like, they just... They don't spawn anymore. Oh god. These rooms are weird. Is there a better spot to spawn? Or sorry, <laughs> to, to farm? Because I am... I am not successfully farming in this area. You know, maybe I have to go to the previous area and farm there. Just trying to figure out what the most efficient or effective way to, to do this is. I go to Torian's entrance to farm. I don't know where Torian's entrance is. I don't know the names of the regions. But I, I can only assume if I'm not in Torian's entrance right now, there's only one other place I assume you could be referring to, so I guess I'll go there. Isn't that super far though? I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about this purple goo elevator here. Have you found the room with the two statues? Yes, I have found that room. Nebu, Artemis, what's up? 
The room with the two statues. That is here. Weird statues. So it looks like this crawly guy keeps infinitely spawning. Oh shit, I, didn't, I, didn't, I looked away for a moment and I didn't see there was a guy right there. Nothing much, just came to look for a while. That's the entrance of Turian. You kill the two bosses in the game and you can pass through right before that room. There are fly spots right before that room. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, it says drill birds or torpedo birds, which is my name for them. Wow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can make that. Okay. Good advice, Nick. Thank you. I assume it's good advice. I mean, we'll see when I get there and I try to do it. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I do want to go this way to get up there. Oh my gosh. Because right now, can you guys see my mouse cursor? Yeah. Right now I'm here in this room labeled Drill Birds. Or Drill Bird Singular, I guess. Which is what I call these guys. Because they're birds that drill down. Oops. Honestly, I don't know how long it would have taken without Sunfall's help. Allegedly, this game takes about 20 hours, 8, eight to 20 hours for a casual playthrough, but uh, I don't know how accurate that is. I didn't time that right. Oops. Oh god, start it. There. Nope, I was wrong. Where is this? Okay, so we're like. We're not almost there. We've got a long ways to go up. Why did it make this room so tall? Like. If I just. Like, do this challenge, you know, like three or four times, I think I've demonstrated that I can do it, but they make you climb, like, this pattern. I don't know, 10 times? You stopped streaming, Artemis? Oh, talking to Artemis. Presumably she stopped streaming, unless she's like streaming while while lurking my channel, which I guess, I guess you could do that. I mean, it's not, it, it'd be surprised. I've never heard of anyone doing it, but I guess there's no technical, there's nothing stopping you from, from doing that. Is this the top? I think it is. Yep, yeah, okay. Shout out to Artemis, by the way. You should check out her stream. She streams... Uh, she was streaming Friday the 13th, I believe. Actually, there's a whole bunch of streamers in my channel right now, right? So, Kiwi streams... I guess Variety. 100% Orange Juice was the last thing I remember him streaming. Nick streams. He streams a lot of old school uh, console games. He streamed Metroid at some point.
Two Heal also streams. He does wrestling games and, and uh, horror games. Just check all of them out. I I follow all of them because they oh shit they all generate quality content. I recommend every single one of their streams. So is there a technique for 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 for, do, for farming this thing? Because it seems like the double pipes actually makes it pretty tricky to to farm this efficiently or effectively without taking damage. Maybe that maybe this is the technique what I'm doing right now. Only keep one disparage on the screen, let them fly to you before killing them. How many shots does it take oh shit. How many shots does it take to kill them anyway? Two shots. Okay, thank you, that's way better than what I was doing before. It's still pretty nerve-wracking to like to time the second shot. The first shot is like whatever, but then the second shot is like like a game of chicken. Yeah, this is going way better than what I was doing before. Thank you very much, Nick, for your help. Oh, that was close. Looked like he was actually gonna hit me that time. Is this it? It might be. It might be infinite now. Yeah. So now I have to f figure out how to disengage, which I guess like that. Okay, I, I guess let's just go with 247 HP. We don't need to get the full 400 HP, right? Do we? Actually, maybe we do. <laughs> you know, let's let's, because actually this is a pretty effective, this is like super effective farming strat. I way better than what I was doing before. So let's let's get the full HP just so I don't have to deal with this shit again when I come when I come back. Kiwi says she needs to sleep. Or sorry, Artemis said she needs to sleep two Kiwi. And get Xanus to sleep again.
Nexus, why did you feel like playing this, by the way? <laughs> it's a very legitimate question. Um, basically, the Metroid series is beloved by all, right? And I've never actually played like any of them. I, I played Super Metroid a little bit, but I, I've only beaten like one boss, like the plant boss. So I, I've never, I didn't even get very far in Super Metroid. And I had a friend who kept saying great things about, um, what's it called? Another Metroid remake, like AM2R, another, another Metroid 2 remake, I guess is what it stands for. And I figured I'll just play through the whole series. Leading up to AM2R. To like, fill in this um, gap in my video game cultural experience. And so I'm playing through them, oh shit, in release order. So, oops. So Metroid 1 on the NES, then Metroid 2, which I also believe is on the NES, and then, and then I don't remember what the third one, like, is it Zero Mission after that, and then, Super Metroid or something, you know, like, I'm just, whatever the release order is, I'm just gonna play them all in that order. That's the plan anyway. And then I'm gonna play M2R last. Metroid 2 is Game Boy? Okay. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the, um... Wikipedia article on Metroid, and they have like a list of all the games in the series in release order. And I'm gonna play them in that order. I think I'm, I'm gonna skip the Prime, so like I'm gonna do all the 2D ones and I'm gonna do the 3D ones. Maybe, like if I still feel like it, I'll do the 3D ones as a separate thing. But anything that has the word Prime in it, I'm probably gonna skip. Unless someone tells me that there is a Prime game that, that is actually part of the 2D series. That's good enough. So for the first time, we actually have full health, essentially full health, like minus two, I guess. Well, now we have full health for the first time ever. GG dude, I'm gonna get started myself. Okay, good luck. Uh, <laughs> thanks for stopping by T-Hill and good luck on whatever game it is you're gonna stream. Now that we have full health, surely, surely we can beat that section, right? Where am I? I'm like, where's my mouse cursor? I'm like over here. So I wanna keep going down one more, I think. Oops, starting to lag a bit. I'm being careful here because I really want to like get to that region with full health. It's gonna piss me off if I get all the way there and I don't even have full health anymore. <laughs> Why is it so repetitive? Like these, these enemy layouts? Oh shit! The bomb didn't kill him for some reason. Whatever. It's the same freaking pattern over and over again. How do I do this? Like that, I guess. Oops. Oh, I missed that. 2D Metroid is Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Fusion, Zero Mission, Zero Mission being a remake of this game. Uh, I think there's a few more than that. I think there's like seven games in the series that I'm thinking of doing. Let's just get this open. 
Wikipedia. Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Fusion, Zero, Utter M, Samus Returns. Okay, so only two more. And then AM2R is the intention. Oop, let me get my map back up. There we go. Why is there so much lag? Oh wow. Oops, wrong button. Oh shit, okay. I feel like I'm gonna take damage here and there's no way I can avoid it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Where am I now? This is it. Okay, spooky statue elevator, right? Yes. I don't remember 3D, Samus Returns is on 3DS. It's a remake of Metro 2 and the reason why Nintendo sent the CND to the M2R developer. Okay, so sounds like I can skip M uh sounds like I can skip other M then, but I still sounds like I want to play Samus Returns. Alright. Surely I can do this section now that I have so much extra health. Wow. Fuck yous. <sighs> oh shit. This is, oh my God. I am so, I'm raging right now, really hard. Oh God. These fucking insects. Okay, don't pick that up to stop him from spawning. Fuck! Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm I'm losing all the health right here. Fucking hell! Oh shit! I. <laughs> You know what, let's farm this. Wow. Okay, you know what, fuck it, we're not farming this. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose more health than I'm gonna gain farming that shit. <sighs> So we got fucking 400 HP, now we're down to 79. <laughs> now we're down to fucking 59. This game, man. Okay, I guess this is it. Here we go. Oh fuck, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to get that power up, but it expired. <laughs> 
fuck. Oh my god. Fuck it. <laughs> do I want to farm this or do I want to get the fuck out? I want to get the fuck out, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we are in a new vertical shaft. And that's the bottom, apparently. And there's a door here. Oh, I forgot there's another... It doesn't directly lead to the vertical shaft. There is a room. Ah, oh, I don't even know what to label that thing. There's some room here. <laughs> And then we're back, we're into this vertical shaft. And then there's probably a room in between these two. Is that the top? That looks like the top. So it looks like it basically looks like this. Um. And I can only hope that this has like some sort of exit going upwards. I don't like this shit. Oh fucking hell. Okay, but now I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Because, like, this looks like it's just... The, these just lead to each other. This is just a loop. Unless there's something, like, there's some power-up in these rooms. But, uh... Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing, I guess. I'm gonna try going to those weird statues. And I'm gonna try jumping into quicksand. Because the game has established that sometimes the quick sign is fake. And someone made a weird comment about those, uh, about those weird statues before. Fuck. So, we're gonna check out those weird statues.
So this is the f first door on the left, we want to go to the second one. Keep going up. This one. Alright, let's see here. Nope. It, it's not a fake quicksand, so I am now dead. Thank you, game! <laughs> God damn it! Got trolled. Where the heck am I supposed to go? I can't figure out how to get across the weird statues past the quicksand. This is all a big dead end. I need like high jump or ice cream over here. I need high jump around here. I cannot figure out where where I'm supposed to be going. I guess I could try to explore these two rooms, but it, it just like the layout makes it look like it's they're just gonna it's just gonna lead to a loop. And I, de I definitely don't have the skill to do it like no damage, so so I'm gonna need to like farm for like I don't know ten minutes or something. <laughs> like when when I went in with full HP, so 400 HP, getting through that, like just getting to that region, I was down to 70 HP. Which means that I take like 330 damage getting getting to the room to attempt the next section. Which is insane in my in, in, in my mind. I can't believe I can't believe the game is this difficult. People warned me, but I didn't believe them. I didn't think it would be this bad. <laughs> How did kids play this back in the day? How did they have the um, the patience or the fortitude to farm for like Hours and hours. Oh shit. And then... Lose everything in an instant, instant. Like, you know, you get knocked into the into the quicksand. And then you're just screwed.
Oops. It's a little too aggressive there. Oh god, just going this side, I guess. This is the first door on the left. Well, when we were kids, we didn't have video game time whenever we wanted, so when we could play, we better enjoy it no matter how VS the game could have been. Yeah, I mean, that sounds plausible. I'm trying to think, what were your alternatives back then, right? Like, you could play this, or you could play, like, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers. You could play Duck Hunt, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. These are all games that are like hard, or not even necessarily hard, but like tedious sometimes. Because I was about to say Dragon Warrior also, and that's like Well, depends which games you had. I had multi cards, so I had a lot of games to choose from. What multi card did you have? Because like, I, when when you say multi card, the, the thing that comes to my mind is Action Fifty Two, right? And like, every game on Action Fifty Two was pretty shitty. <laughs> I'm not sure Action 52 is worth the time or money to go through. I feel like this is going to be my last attempt. It's like 10.43 p.m. here right now. And I don't wanna... I don't wanna play too far past 11 p.m. So I feel like the time is going to take me to farm to 400 HP. And then like, attempt to do that section again. Create Slayer. I think that's going to be it. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the chat here. Let me take a quick look. When I had a fami I had a Famiclone as a kid. The NES didn't didn't even come out here in Argentina. And even if it would have, it would have been super expensive. Parents don't care if the console games are original or not. Oh fuck! I didn't pick up the thing because I was taking too long to read. Parents didn't care if the console are original or not. 
we didn't even know they were pirates. So did you have like weird ROM hacks of games or something like that? Or were they just like pure rips? Like, so I'm thinking, like, for example, did you play the original Super Mario Brothers, or did you play like Super Mario Brothers, but the sprites were changed around, or some shit like that? Uh, I might be infinite now. Okay, so I have to disengage. And I definitely need to grind to the full 400 HP, like, because I take 330 damage trying to get through that freaking section. So, so I'm gonna need all 400 HP that I can get. I had. A 52 game multi cart, not action 52. Thankfully, with only two hacks. The rest were straight, regular games. I also had a 7 in 1 and some other single carts. Okay. Well, I mean, sounds like you got to enjoy all the classics then as a kid, basically. Right? That's a. Uh, 59 plus some random number. So at least, at least like 60 games. I don't think I had 60 games when I had an NES. Like, you know, um, I guess I might have if you include the Action 52. So maybe we had about the same number of games, you and I growing up. Well, no, actually, maybe we don't, because like, the games in Action 50 were like so shitty, like I don't even, I don't feel like that counts as 50, having access to 52 different games. But if you had like a 52 um, in one cart, but like 50 of them were like, you know, pirates of, of full games, then you legitimately had 50 games. You had Action 52? Yeah, I think so. Is that surprising? Like what I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of dreading here. What what you're about to tell me is like, oh man, action fifty is super rare, and if you have it, it's worth a million dollars. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have it anymore. But yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure we had action fifty two. Maybe we just had the generic fifty two games. Who knows? I can't even remember what the games were on, on the on the 52 in one card I had. But they were all like shitty games. There it wasn't like it wasn't like 50 rips of, of real games plus two hacks or or whatever, like you were saying. It's a rare card, even if shitty, also getting your parents to spend 200 bucks on a new game card is not the easiest. I feel like they probably did not spend 200 bucks on that cart. Was it like was it a two hundred dollar cart? Like when you when it first, if it is, then either we got like insanely lucky with a deal, or I got probably more likely I got some other card. <laughs> like I did not get actually just some generic fifty-two in one game card. I don't know, man. Like I had some. I'm trying to remember. I had like a tank game, a submarine game, but it was just, just like it was always the same freaking game with just asset swaps, right? Like the tank game and the submarine game was like the same, same freaking game. It was a scuba diving game, I think.
There goes my full HP. Uh, is this a bottom? I think it is. Yeah, okay. So now we're in the Drillbird room. Yeah, so just a retail price was 200 US dollars in their logic 50 games return bucks was a super deal. So I don't know what I had. I had some cart with like a bunch of shitty games in it. Might have been Action 52, but probably wasn't based on what I'm hearing from your description now. It's probably something else. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Crate Slayer, final attempt. Final attempt of the night, I guess. Just give me a little bit more health, please. Nope. I won't even do that. Give me a good jumping pattern, please. Nope. Got the shitty jump pattern. Oh, he despawned. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, like, wow, okay. This is really good. So we made it through with like 350 health, basically. 345 health. All right, what do we want to do? We probably want to explore, let's see, up twice. Kill this googly-eyed bastard. Here's up one. Here's up number two, so let's try this one. Fucking hell. Whatever. Just get the fuck out. Take the damage if I have to. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely just a bullshit room with nothing in it. Unless there's secrets that I'm missing. So let's go up one more room. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Check this room now. Fuck, this shit just run. Wow. So all this room is also bullshit. There's nothing here. Is this it? This is the top? Yeah, this is the top. There's nothing fucking here. Why am I here? God damn it. There's nothing here. Unless there's a secret I'm missing. And now I'm gonna fall a billion f stories. Where am I supposed to go? 
Where am I supposed to go? Go back to the left shaft and keep and try to keep going up. I thought I was at the top, but oh fuck! You know what? Let's just go through here. I thought I was at the top, but you definitely know more about this game than I do, so I'll take I'll take your word for it. If you're saying go to the left shaft and go up. I'm gonna go take the left shaft and go up. Fuck you. Oh god. I should have turned around and shoot shot. So here I am in the left shaft. Uh, is this the left shaft you're talking about? So here I am, all the way up, and now, and this is it, there's nothing here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just giving you ideas, I don't remember too much. Okay. What you want right now is the ice shot, but I don't remember where it is. Sounds very plausible, because I have a bunch of spots on my map marked, need ice shot, here. Need ice beam, need ice beam. Uh, just stretching for a little bit here, stretching my sore muscles. Okay. So unless there's like secret rooms that I'm missing, which is very, very possible. Everything here is, is a is a dead end and it's just a big waste of time to come here. I got the ice shot somewhere and then I went to release place to find more upgrades and I came back here because this place was wrecking me. So implying that ice shot is not here. Ice shot is not in Craig's lair. So I should stop searching this place for ice shot. That's what it sounds like you're telling me. But if ice shot is not here, you have no idea. God damn, this fucking game. Okay, hypothetically, if Aisha is not here, then it's either in the secret room around here, so meaning I have to hit every fucking wall, or it's like here, but I don't have to get across the quicksand. Or it's here, but these places all look like they need Aisha to get through. Okay, maybe I can forget about the statue rooms. That's the path to the end game. By the statues room, I, I, I assume you mean a room with two statues. So then I think I I, I could try exploring this quicksand room again, quicksand E tank, for secrets, because I haven't been there in a long time. So maybe, and there's also this room that I can't get because it's like it's a super weird, awkward jump or something like that. I can't quite uh, time the jump properly. But maybe if I practice, I'll be able to... Fuck you! Oh god.
so much bullshit. This is unbelievable. Get me out of here. Oh wow, look at that. Look how he, he, he tried to juke me right there. Oh man. I'm not gonna make it through this room, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, the hopper doesn't spawn here. I made it through a room. Holy shit. Okay. So if I go down one and then to the right, I can get to that quicksand E-tank room. This room here. Oh man, I don't know if I have the energy in me to, to try to get through this shit. Fuck it, now. I'm not gonna bother with this. I'm gonna try... I feel like it's impossible, but I'm gonna try one more time to get this... This fucking jump over here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she stopped for a second. There's something about a double jump. Fuck! Well, you want the ice shot to get there. Okay. Then I don't know. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. It's like... I was actually climbing there. That's like the highest I've ever gotten with, with the freaking bomb jumps. I'm trying to even think about what I can attempt at this point. I guess I have to go left. Like, I can't go up because I don't have the eye shot. Only you, the heroic Metroid, can brave the death and defeat my brain. Kagero, I am about to give up. <laughs> I'm about to turn in for the night. I, I do not know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I, I feel like I've explored every everywhere I can go, and 
and I cannot figure out where I need to go next. Try more bomb jumps. Free Ignis Rave. <laughs> um, try more bomb jumps. You're, you're, so like here is, is maybe what you mean by try more bomb jumps? Because I I can't. Oops. I don't know what the timing is. Like, so are are you saying legitimately I'm supposed to be able to get through here? Oh, just guessing. Okay. So it's not like this is the way to do it. Okay. Metroid can't turn to ball as she fucking sighing now. Metroid, can, I mean, it, you're correct that Metroid cannot, as far as I know, Metroid cannot turn into a ball. I'm, I guess, like, so I don't think I can, like, maybe speedrunners or TAS can bomb jump up here. I, I don't think I can, and I feel like this is not the intended solution, given how difficult it is to, to bomb jump through this. You want a clue? I just checked where the ice Yes, get, please give me a clue. <laughs> please, for God's sakes, put me out of my misery and give me a clue. <laughs> that's not intended, that's a way out. Yeah, that's what I figured. But, so the clue, give me the clue, don't leave me hanging here. What's the clue? Look at that, I almost made it. Oh, look at that, look how high I got. Get out here, explore the initial area. Alright, that is exactly... That is exactly the clue I needed, I guess. Can I even make it? Or is it faster to just kill myself? It's probably faster to kill myself, but like, just for the fun of the challenge, let's, let's try to actually... Let's tr try to actually make it! Oh god. Can I get that? I can't even fucking get that. Kill yourself takes you to the other. Yeah, I mean, but the pride, right? Don't look directly into the Death Star. Uh, the Castlevania, the Castlevania clues. My pride is preventing me from just killing myself. I'm gonna try to walk back there, or jump back there, I guess. But I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna make it. Wait, where am I now? Okay, this way. This way or up? Is there even up? No, this is as high as it goes. Oh, I'm fucked. As soon as he comes in. Yep, there we go. <sighs> Alright, so here we are. Entrance to Crate's Lair. Hit your head against Devereaux's Cliffs. I saw someone else who was doing a blind run of Castlevania, uh, Castlevania 2, and I asked him, are you playing the original or are you playing the fan translation? And he's like, I don't know, I guess the original. And I'm like, oh, you're you're in for a painful time then for the clues. Hang on, where am I now? I'm, I'm here, Cyan Vert. So I want to explore this whole area, basically, is what, is what Nick was saying. Do I have to actually do every fucking tile? I mean... I guess I'd better, right? Or else... Can you truly say you've fully explored the Metroid world unless you've bombed every single tile? Better safe than stuck, yeah. Let's call it the initial area anywhere this music plays. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I assumed you meant, Nick. I assume that the areas, like, you know which area you're in based on the music. Because, like, the game doesn't tell you the name of the area, right? Like, when I got to, um, the other area, people were telling me, oh, that's Crate's Lair. But the game, as far as I know, never tells you that is Crate's Lair. Like, I got there and there's no text that showed up or anything like that. So here I am shooting every single tile. Probably not, like, I'm probably missing a bunch, but... I'm getting decent coverage, right? I'm like... And the thing is, I have to like watch the bullets too, because like, I don't think it necessarily plays a sound when you hit um, a fake tile. 
you just see your bullet like fly through it and that's how you know it's fake. So I can't just mindlessly shoot everything. I have to actually look at the, the bullets and see where they land when I shoot everything. So this is the absolute turning area, so let's let's explore this just to get it out of the way. I feel like it's probably not gonna be here, but good reason to have toggleable wave beam. Another clue vertical shafts will only have a secret at the top or bottom. Okay, that saves me a bit of time, I guess. Horizontal rooms may have secrets at the far left or far right. Why you say may have secrets? So you mean like only? only have secrets because you phrased it slightly differently you phrased the vertical clue slightly different from the horizontal clue yes so i don't need to check every tile is what you guys are saying i only need to check I need to check the edges, is what you guys are saying, it sounds like. What you folks are saying. So I feel like that concludes the search in this area. You don't need to, but you totally should. Choking. <laughs> Basically, a vertical shaft will only scroll vertically, so there will never be a secret passage on the wall. Horizontal rooms will never have a secret on the roof or floor. Okay. Got it. Oops. I feel like that's... I mean, it's hard to tell. Sometimes it looks like it's sort of... Um, went through, but I don't think it actually went through. I don't think I can reach that. But those one screen rooms that don't really score anywhere, those are interesting. Ah, oh, shit, I kill them ways, but whatever. I don't need missiles anyway. I don't think this weird orange Mega Man is ever going to defeat Dr. Wily. I just watched a video about single axis scrolling on NES. Yeah, I think I, I saw... So most games, like I guess at the hardware level, the NES only supports single axis scrolling, but then like Super Mario Bros. 3 was blowing everybody's mind because um, because it did, it did two axis scrolling, right? Something like that. That's what I heard anyway. People were like, how did you do that? And then it was apparently like a super weird hack or something like that, using pushing the capabilities of the system to its limits. And they also talked about why, um, that's also why um, at the edge of the screen in Super Mario Bros. 3 you see like weird discoloration because they're doing something with like pal uh, palettes changing or something like that. There's some artifacting because of it. Yeah, you can score diagonally. I meant that Metroid doesn't do it. Yeah. Oh shoot, I, okay, I'm okay. I thought I, I was gonna get knocked off this platform. Alright, so don't even bother checking all of these walls. Oh god, I can't reach that. 
I guess I can't reach that. No. Nope. Man, you guys are like, I was just about to give up and now you've, you know, you've filled me with determination. Actually, I don't know, like, does anyone... <laughs> I feel like everyone in this chat, are, at least the people I know, are all people who haven't actually played Undertale. That uh, feeling... When you say it fills me with determination, that's an Undertale reference. Wait, where am I? Okay. I get it, at least. Okay, cool. Not that I played very much. I haven't played Undertale. Yeah. Actually, I don't know Ka if Kagura, have you played Undertale? And I don't know who else is watching the stream, but. Oh shit. Seeing the Metroid fight the evil aliens has filled you with determination. Its fan base makes me not want to play it. Yeah, I remember we had this conversation actually, Nick. We, I think. So I don't know how to open this thing, so I guess you can't. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna conclude. So then let's... Oh, I am just now. No, you can Oh, Caesar, welcome to the stream. I've seen a billion game tier videos of Undertale. I just don't care to play it. Wow, so nobody here has played Undertale, unless Caesar has, but I assume Caesar has an eater. Doesn't seem like Caesar's type of game. Caesar's. One from Gorbachev, how stuck? Well, I mean, I'm, I was super stuck, but like this whole... I've made no progress for the last... Um, how long I've been streaming here? Two hours and 15 minutes? But then someone gave me a hint saying that I want to check this region for the ice beam. This region being the starting area. I don't know about this region specifically. But... How do I get out now? <laughs> Am I screwed? I know I've gotten out of this before. Two questions that are technically spoilers, I guess. Go ahead. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. I can't believe this is not a secret. Like, look at this. This is so obviously a secret, but it's not a secret. There's nothing here, but it so obviously is a secret. How can this not be? How can there be nothing here? He was at Gorbachev, but he's flipped his Reagan switch and is about to bring down the Iron Curtain to reunite East and West Germany with determination. Have you found the high jumps or the various suit? I have not found the high jumps. I have not found the various suit. Can you even find those without the ice beams? Oh god damn it. Of course, puts the power up. The energy pad all the way up there where I can't reach it. Oh shoot. Have you found the ice beam? No, of course you haven't. Hmm. So I'm on my quest. I'm looking for the ice beam now, and I'm told it's around here ish, so I'm just checking. Like it's not in Crate's layer and it's not in the other place that you have to reach for the elevator is what I is my understanding of the clues that I've been given. So now we are searching this place, this region. Brinstar, I guess it's called. We are searching Brinstar. Even though I thought I, I had fully searched Brinstar, but apparently I have not fully searched Brinstar because people are telling me this is where the ice beam is, somewhere in Brinstar. Okay, so I guess there's nothing up here. Man, there's a lot of chat. I'm trying to catch up. Dude, find the ice suit blind is asking for outright impossible. Let's at least be more specific. That's why I told him to get out of Crates and search here in this area. Lost, have you tried Harry Krishna? I also dropped another hint, but I don't know if he'll get it. Well, that's technically not true. There are two ice beams. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck. Get me out. Please, just leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, hang on. So check this region for secret, because this is the left edge of a screen. It doesn't look like it. So I guess there's nothing here either. There's this place. I make it up there? Oops. I don't remember if the second ice cream cross I just but the second ice cream is really zero red. No, just north for well, corner for really zero. That's not going to get confused out when there's already an area caught that so instead of this up the bomb. Wow, cannot make that jump. Oops, I didn't mean to walk out the room yet. Okay, so I feel like I've, I've searched this. I don't know that I've, I've searched it super well, but I'm having difficulty searching like any better than, than this. And I know, I, I've already tried looking in the quicksand in case it's fake quicksand, but that is real quicksand that kills you in real life. If you die in the game, that's the one room where if you die in the game, you die in real life, so... Don't wanna... Don't wanna go in there. So we're gonna search... Where else? Look at this map here. So we searched basically this whole section here, and so I guess we're gonna search this region now. This region here to the to the right. Oh wow, yes. Oh, wow. Interesting that you describe as quicksand. I have taught lava acid. Okay, can we at least make him less paranoid and make one confirmation? Cool. Looks like quicksand. Uh, yeah, I call it quicksand because it's sort of orangey. And and I think you're slowed down also when you move into it. Like, I don't know if I, if you were like, if you fell into lava, would you be sl I guess it's kind of viscous, vis sorry, viscous, right? Lava. So I guess you would also be slowed down in lava. Okay, I'm going to call it. It's probably something else, but co it's colored like sand. I'd assume... I know in Super Metroid there's lava, so I would have assumed that... Like, I would be open to the possibility that this game also has lava, but I would have thought it would be red. Ice Beam is not in the quarter you currently are. <laughs> I wish I knew when you said that. Because <laughs> I've been moving around a bit. But I, I think... I think you're talking about the place with, like, next to the weird um, two statues. Before you close the door. I'm still unclear, but okay, so. In other games, there's a distinction between lava and acid. I got used to that. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume that there is no acid in this game. Maybe there is. I I just... From playing Super Metroid, I'm, I know there's a hot area where you need, like, some sort of heat-resistance suit, and, and so and there's a liquid that, in that game, in that area, so that's... I assume that was lava. And so because Super Metroid has lava, I assume that um, Metroid might also have lava. But then when I encountered this, because it was like orange to red, I, I said, so this must be quicksand. Then again, why would quicksand damage you, right? Like you would you I could see you getting stuck in quicksand. 
But why would you lose health in quicksand? So that's a that's an argument for it not being quicksand, I guess. Did I hit every tile? I think I hit every tile. Maybe it's angry quicksand. Sand is very important. Maybe it is angry quicksand. Maybe... Maybe Samus is so empathetic that when she... Um, falls into angry quicksand, she feels its anger and it pains her. For the same reason, you'll be attacked by SpaghettiOs later on. <laughs> not to mention quicksand does exist in Super Metroid and it does not hurt you. Oh, you've been in this turtle? Then you'll be fine. Tiger Hush. It's just going to take a long time. Yeah, I mean, I was planning on... <laughs> God damn it. I was planning on ending the stream soon because I didn't want to stay up too late, but... Now that now that the whole party's here, right, I gotta keep going. Oh god. No point in streaming when nobody cares to watch, and no point in, in stopping the stream when everybody who's interested shows up. Oh god. Can I even make it from here? I don't think I can. I need to, I think I need to get back on to this platform. Let's keep talking about quicksand. Sand is important. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no. No, don't tell me I have to check every fucking quicksand block. I do not. I... I... <laughs> I guess you need the ice beam to stand on the pill bugs. Yeah, I think so. Insert episode 2 sand reference here, Nick Dex Cruel. I really hope you don't have to like jump into every single quicksand pit to test if it's a real one or, or a fake one. You mean you never thought to yourself how deep sand is really- oh god damn it. Are you guys fucking serious? Are you, or are you trolling me? Cause I jump- okay, you know the, the room with the two weird statues? Somebody said something weird about that too. Like they, I, I forget what exactly what they said, but they were like, they were like something like falling into quicksand is part of the Metroid experience or something like that. And I'm like, and they said that like right is right when I entered that room. So I'm like, oh, so maybe that's a fake quicksand because I know there there is fake quicksand in the game. Like here in in Crade's Lair, there's a fake quicksand area. This re this room also has quicksand in it. So I was like, okay, I'll just jump in and check. But no, it kills you. And like, <laughs> it's not fake quicksand. It, it actually kills you. But now you guys are telling me... <sighs> what kind of game design is that? What, what kind... <laughs> no way to test if it's coarse and rough and irritating. And gets everywhere, yeah. What? <laughs> so like the, the designers of this game were like, you know, I'm going to I'm going to make quicksand kill you. But I'm going to I'm going to make some of the quicksand not kill you and actually be like required to complete the game. Like you have to jump into the quicksand if you want to beat the game. Like this shit here? Oh god. No, that's real. So much lag. Hang on, let me catch up with chat here. Uh. Hey, free with the episode 2 reference. Is that the game map on the right? Yes. I, it is. Leap of Sand. Did you draw that by yourself? Yes, I've been drawing this map myself. Knowing what sand is real and what sand is play takes true grit. Re remember, horizontal rooms will never scroll vertically. Remember. All right.
Oh, wow, look at that lag. Oh, what the fuck? Can I even kill this guy? What the fuck? I can't kill this guy. I'm fucked. Is he gone? Oh shit, he's still here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> they spawned an invincible enemy into that fucking corridor. You know, after watching this, I no longer feel bad about almost losing my sanity during War 2. Yep. I cannot tell what is useful advice and what is meme slash banter. Same. I mean, that's that's where all the fun is, right? Like, if if you if it was all, get this fucking guy out of here. If if I knew which was the clue and which was um, is he still in there? Did he despawn? What the hell? Where did he go? If I knew what was real and what was um, like what was trolling, then what the fuck? <laughs> There, get the fuck out of here. Then, if, yeah, if I knew what was real and what was trolled, then that, that would take all the fun out, right? The fun is in seeing me suffer, trying to figure out who's trolling me and who's actually giving me a real clue. Okay, so Nick was saying don't... Like, this is a horizontal scrolling room, so it's not going to scroll vertically, so I'm not going to bother checking any of this quicksand beneath me here because there's no way it's going to scroll vertically downwards, right? Is, I believe, what Nick was trying to tell me. Can I reach that? I don't feel like I can reach that. Oh, I could. Okay. Uh, clue one is telling the truth. <laughs> I was lying. <laughs> I remember this room from ZM. ZM Zero, zero Mission? Flying Brain... Flying... Flying Brian Pillbug takes Samus to the mat for a three count and has Samus running scared to the backstage area. That sounds right. Okay, since you guessed it right, might as well confirm. Yes, you're right. This is serious, by the way. I, when you say yes, you're right, I haven't, I've been saying, I've been talking like a lot. Now I have no idea what, what I said that was right. Is there even any way for me to reach that quicksand? Fuck. Okay, so one, so non-scrolling rooms are interesting, quote unquote. So then, this is a non-scrolling room. Is it interesting? Am I being interested right now? Is any of this interesting to any of you guys? None of these fucking tiles. None of the bomb tiles. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. Let me out. Fuck, wait, wait, what? Why did I, what, what's going on now? Why is this? But wait, how do, I can't even do anything though. Or can I? I can't do anything here, what the fuck? Where am I? I'm, I'm like here. Um, right, it's this, this is the room that I'm in. Where's my pen? So I, I need I need high jumps here also. Bomb jump test your might. Okay, time to test your trick. Drop bomb, stand up, it will send you flying. Just make a note and come back later unless you want the sequence break. Jump after you bomb, you should do a double jump-ish. I wish I knew that trick. It is not easy to pull off as it sounds. So you guys are saying I can I can double jump that. Like I don't think I can double jump this, right? So but maybe you guys are saying Maybe you guys are saying I can double jump this. Whoops. I don't I don't think that's high enough. 
Yeah, I don't think I can make that. Yeah, this... Unless I'm doing it wrong. Oops. Wow. Maybe I have to, I, maybe I have to pre jump a little bit? No, because then I can't do the second jump. Wow. God. I don't think I can make that. But you guys are saying I can also come back later. How do I get out again? Is it this one? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So it's good it's good to know about this, but that's still not the ice beam, I guess, because I can't... Because I'm not... For sure you can come back later. Okay, fine. Oops. Gosh, sorry. Come on. Wow. The intended ways with the high jump went next set, and yes, might as well confirm that the ice cream is not in that room. Okay. Fuck everything in this fucking room. Well, this. No, okay. I can't. This is a horizontal room, so I'm not gonna scroll down, so there's no point. Surely there's no point in checking that. Or is there? <laughs> fucking hell. I am about to die. You should put that in all caps in your mat, don't forget to come back. Quick sand in the horizontal room is not interesting. I like this spot feels safe. Yeah, it is it's it's a nice resting point. So I, I feel like I don't need to put come back here in all caps because everywhere where like there's you know something leading to nothingness, like for example here, here, and here, are all places I want to come back. Here, for example, here, here. So I, I, I like I, I draw the rectangle when I feel like I've completely finished exploring the room, which is why you saw here like this used to be a rectangle and then we found the secret. So I, I erase the rectangle and put dashed lines instead. So I think we're okay on that. Um, Oh god. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here, but just to fully rule it out, let's check these walls here for secrets. Wow! This is where I'm gonna die. Oops. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure there's nothing here. Leaf, why not stay in farm energy? Um, because I'm tired, you know. Like I, I don't want to. I feel like I don't have the energy to sit through that shit. Where am I now? Oh, I'm in this place where I need the ice beam. If I fall, okay. Gosh, 
God damn it. Okay, so none of those tiles, it looks like. Not that tile. Not that tile, and not the tile. So none of none of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice game, I love it. Salud desde Mexico. I guess that means hello from Mexico. Then when it has two Mexicans, así que pedo Carlos. Este es oficialmente en chat on Esqueletano desde este momento. Que onda amigos, buenas noches. Welcome to the stream, Carlos Guamas. A cabrón, ahora soma de tres, desde cuando? I have no idea what any of that means. Buenas noches, I know. I think. Good night, good evening. Um, okay. So I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna check this place. Thanks, now we are three Mexicans, I'm from Argentina. Hey Kai, quick, say something in Spanish. I don't know any Spanish. Sad face. Che, boludo, Messi, Maradona. Oh, wait, I thought I switched the missiles. I guess not. Oh fuck. There we go. And that's all the Argentinian I know. Don't worry. Oh god, he's respawned. Oh god. Did I check everything? I think I... yeah. So I placed a bunch of bombs here. Don't see anything. Your audio sounds great. What's your audio set? Well, thank you. Um, I'm using basically a blue blue Yeti microphone. Um, and it has a pop filter on it. And I just... I put the microphone just really close to my mouth. Um, otherwise, I don't think I'm doing anything special. I got a bit of um, compression on the uh, on OBS, so maybe that also helps a bit. Okay, I know. I think I know that. That's like what year? That's my guess as to what it means. Blue Yeti's expensive. It is. It is a little bit expensive. I used to um, stream with my like webcam microphone, so I had like a, a Logitech webcam or some something like that. I don't even know what the brand is, and I was doing it for a while, like you know, when I started out, because I wasn't even sure if I was if I would be into streaming, and it was okay. Like people could understand me, and it got the job done. Damn it! But you know, after a while, I felt like okay, I guess I'm getting kind of serious into this. So I got that blue Yeti. I think I got mainly because that's what everyone else is using and like I don't really know anything about um, audio quality or microphones or anything like that so I said if everybody else is using it it's probably good enough for, for my purposes.
Okay, let's see. So we finished searching those rooms. I guess we'll head to the bottom of this thing and search the bottom. So, bomb on every single tile now. Nothing. Unless it's these freaking things, but I, I feel like it's not going to be. Let's oh, dance. shit. <laughs> you can do a little two steps. Scared the shit out of me. I'll go anywhere that you step to, because I'm following you. Carlos, thank you for the follow. Wow, I, I have my alerts way louder than the game audio, apparently. You really startled me. <laughs> Scaredy cat, yeah. But yeah, thank you for that follow. Is there a way for me to turn up the volume on, on the emulator, actually? Here we go. I'll turn this up, and then I'll turn... Sure, let's go to 200, whatever. And then I'll turn my cap my desktop capture way down. Turn it up a bit again. Okay, like this. So hopefully now the next alert will be at a reasonable volume relative to the game audio. <laughs> I was I was not expecting that. <laughs> it really startled me. Let me lower actually my in in Headphones, micro uh, volume two. Okay, so we finished searching this vertical shaft. What is this? This is this is a horizontal room, so we don't care about quicksand in the horizontal rooms. Oh, you can't believe! Can't believe he didn't die! Oh God! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Okay, got out. Hang on, you got your Spanish user, go translate Spanish with Spanish. Yeah, it says the channel launched at the end of 96 and started having anime in 98. Oh, you guys are still talking about that locomotion channel? I'm thinking of buying that microphone, your audio sounds great. I mean... Uh, well, thank you for the compliment about my about my audio sound great. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the with the Blue Yeti. I don't, but I like I said, I don't really know anything about audio quality, so I can't. Oh, God, am I gonna die here? Oh shit, lag. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh God, no. <laughs> I'm gonna die. God damn. I <laughs> But that's okay. We can get back to this spot. So we searched all of these areas. I guess we'll search the bottom path here. Concern fro concern frog by the way, for his uh, custom emote on Nick's channel. Get this mouse cursor out of the way. Here we go. Also, I don't, I don't know if I banged the microphone there. If so, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. I was saying um, I don't know much about microphones. Like, it's not like I've tried a bunch of different microphones and and compared them or anything like that. But but I'm happy with the Blue Yeti. So, for what it's worth. These trail birds. Always play Metroid. No, this is. Um, I play a, a variety of different games. This is the only the second time I'm streaming Metroid. 
these are blind runs, uh, so meaning I don't know, I don't know how to beat the game or anything like that. I'm just trying things, uh, trying to figure out how to beat the game. Where am I? I'm so lost now. Let me look at my map again. Am I here? I think I'm here. Okay, so I want to go up and then to the right. Uh, my plan is to play through the Metroid series, so I'm playing Metroid, the original Metroid right now. I'm gonna play Metroid 2 on Game Boy at some point. Next, hopefully. Like, assuming I beat this game, and assuming I don't give up in frustration. Then I guess it's Super Metroid and then Zero Mission or something like that? I don't remember the exact order, but... The plan is to play through the, the whole series in the order in which the games were released. Oh, man. And then... Once I, I, fin I go through the whole series uh, of the 2D games, so I'm gonna skip all the 3 games, like all the Prime games. Once I do, once I finish that, the plan is to then play the uh, AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake, which is a fan, a fan game. But yeah, so usually I don't stream much. I just, I just stream like random Steam games. Is, is what I normally do. I usually don't even stream retro. Usually. Um, the only other retro game I stream was Super Mario World. Usually I play, um, like, short indie uh, Steam games. Hang on, sorry, let me catch up with chat here. People are arguing about what order to play the games in, I guess, or whatever. I, I'm i not going to participate in that argument. I don't know the order. I have What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Wikipedia article on Metroid, and they have a list, like, what year each game was released in, and I'm just going to do them in, the, in that order, except I'm going to skip any game that has the word Prime in it. So the, the intent is to do all the um, 2D Metroids in order of release. Not in order of the story, right, mind you, so, like... Zero Mission is supposed to be like is a remake of this game, right? And it's so it's supposed to be like the first in terms of story or lore. But that but I'm not gonna play it first, I'm gonna play it whenever it got released. Which I think it was the either the the fourth game that got released or something like that. I mean, so I so I would play it fourth. Wait, I'm lost again. I gotta I gotta start paying more attention to my map. Sorry, I'm, I'm So I think I just went through this region. Quicksand. Sineway birds, and now I'm here. Transition quick sense sineway. Okay. So this is another room I should probably check. If I can just freaking kill this guy. Wow. Finally. Alright. Oops. Oh. So do I do it? Do I jump into the quicksand and, and like risk dying? Yeah, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, then Super Metroid 5th, ZMK Matter Fusion. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know it by heart. So whatever it is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at the Wikipedia article and I'm just gonna do it in that order. Start of Van Halen, might as well jump. All right, we're jumping. It was fake quicksand the whole time. Where was I? I was, I'm here, right? So this is fake. Oh man. How do I draw this on the map? It's it's like, it doesn't even. Okay, let's just, let's see where, how far, how deep this goes. Now I'm here. Uh, how do, okay. How do how am I gonna do this shit? Something like this, I guess I'm gonna say. So there is fake quicksand and then it's a a gold vertical region. Don't need to draw, no reason to come back here. Mm. 
I mean, if I don't, if I don't draw it, I'm I'm gonna. It's not gonna feel right. You know, it's gonna be like, well, my map my map is is wrong. Wait, why am I here? There's nothing here. Do I feel as good? Yeah. But this was this was. <laughs> there's nothing here. I like it was just a big waste of time. Unless there's a secret that I'm not I'm not understanding. Who think of Hollow Knight chat? Not sure what you mean, but like, I like Hollow Knight, so if you guys want to talk about Hollow Knight, that's cool with me too. I... I got- I beat Hollow Knight, but I didn't beat the- I didn't get the true ending. I got like the, um... Well, I don't know how many people here have played Hollow Knight, so maybe I shouldn't say anything, because there might be spoilers. Okay, then give me five while I go and grab some napkins. Never after reading that for you. Hollow Knight is good, but a tad more than you've asked me. That has got to be a ladder of sorts. Yeah, I get that this is a ladder, but I, I didn't want to go up. I thought, I thought, um, I thought I like. There's not gonna be a secret because this is a vertical room. From the clues you guys have been telling me, there's not gonna be a secret. Oh shit! There's not gonna be a secret to the left or the right, right? So I. So if um am I screw here? Oh god, no. So I thought I I, I didn't want to climb out of this hole cuz I came from up. So I don't want to climb up of this hole until um until I found the secret at the bottom of this stairwell thing or this corridor, but there is no secret at the bottom of the stairwell. It's just nothing. I'm like I'm just So like, why am I here? You know, what, what, what's going on? Nick, yep, back then we didn't know any better. Go back up. Nick, he is trying. Hmm. Well, I wasn't trying to go back up until just now. But... So now I'm back up. But, but now what? I just leave? Like this, that was, that was it? This was just all BS? How do I even get back out now? <laughs> like... Because if I jump here, is this... Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm gonna die from these blocks spawning on top of me now. Like, I don't know how to get back out now. Oh, unless there's secrets here? No. Oh shit, did he just softlock? Don't tell me I softlock, please. Oh shit! So there- wait, there was- there's a platform there somewhere. That enemy wasn't in your way, it was- it was your way in. Guess you need the ice beam. So I'm supposed to have the ice beam to- to get out of this place? But it- I, it felt like there was a block there, like there was somewhere I stood that had solid footing, so maybe it is possible to get out without the ice beam if- if you just know where the invisible block is. Oops. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Ugh. Oh shit, what was that? I think the emulator just lagged on me there. <laughs> oh 
Okay. So, so <laughs> we explored that. Oh man. That was quite the stutter, blinded by the lag. Sim solo. <laughs> All right, you know, but like I'm feeling pretty good now because like we, we explored like every room in here except these two rooms. Quicksand, sine wave bird, transition, quicksand, sine wave. This is a horizontal room. There's no way I like it's it's here is basically what I'm I'm gathering, because like this this room is basically exactly this room, like it's it's a single non-scrolling room with quicksand in it. So and these are the only two rooms we haven't explored, so it's gotta be this guy. So I feel I feel like we know where we need to go now, which is a great feeling. So all we have to do is get there. Except I can't remember where the hell I am, so I'm somewhere... Okay, I'm here. Vertical needs bomb. That's this room. Next is drill birds, which are those guys up there. Those are what I'm calling the drill birds. Of course, it'd be the last room. Did you start with the long beam in this game? Uh, no. No, I had to find the long beam, or I get. It was. I mean, spoiler, but but it was here. Is <laughs> where I got it. Um, sorry for the spoiler if, if you intended to play this yourself, sorry. Get the issue and just chill out for a while, keep cool. Neat. I think maybe the long beam was the first thing I found, I'm not sure. No, no, sorry, the first thing I found of course is, is Morph Ball. But I think I, f like, I found long beam before I found the bomb, probably. If I remember correctly. Oh god. Oh god, he's still following me. <laughs> and now the freaking drill birds are after me. Neat, I kinda wanna play it now. I have the re MU on ZM, I think it might be worth a try. Wait! What are, what are we waiting for, Caesar? Caesar? Since this is impossible to find blind, I feel like I don't actually have to wait, so I'm gonna keep walking while I do. I spoil you an item. Um, I I mean I guess it's your gesture call. It's hard for me to to know how big of a spoiler it is that you're gonna give, right? So so I guess use your common sense as to whether or not it's worth spoiling. In most games, like if, if I were playing well, the stuff I usually play, like Steam games or whatever, I would tell you absolutely not. Do not give me any spoilers whatsoever. Like if I were playing Hollow Knight for the first time or something like that, I would say no, no spoilers. But for, for this game, for Metroid, I, I don't care too much if I get some spoilers. There's an item in that corridor. It's just a missile pack in the corridor I told you to stop. All right, sure. Why not? Let's let's go. Let's go look for it. Oops. I think it was this one, right? This. Isn't there a ceiling E tank?
Wait, is it a missile retag? I don't remember. I've never played this, so I was guessing. I spoiled it because I thought it was a missile pack, but go grab the ice beam first. Yeah, so what I'm what I was thinking is like if it's in the ceiling, that, like I wouldn't even be able to get it, right? So maybe I do need the ice beam, like to to get it. If if I'm inferring what you guys are hinting at. If I'm correctly inferring what you guys are hinting at. Sorry, I'm mute there because I was about to cough. Actually, let me take a sip of my drink. My throat is getting pretty dry from all this commentating. I should get one of those bots to tell you to drink. I should get a bot. I don't have a bot on my chat channel. Let's try from all that sand, yep. All those sand pits you guys forced me to jump into. And without exception, every single time you, you guys told me to jump into a sand pit, I died there. Like, it was a death sentence. You guys are just trolling me. Bots are important for ch channels. So this is the this is not the one, right? We go past this. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Am I? No, maybe I'm okay. Yeah, so pretty sure it's gotta be this guy. Alright. Oh. There's the... Okay, so right there. I'm gonna let it heal though, because I want to check the ceilings for any secrets. But no, nothing in the ceilings. Okay. And I assume nothing on anywhere else. It's only that one tile. Oh, wait. Look, did you see that guy? He tried to get out. Look at this. He's trying to escape. Okay, whatever. Oh, shit. I can't even see him. Is he dead? Yeah, okay. So is there like a like one tile that's nope? I was say one tile that's solid around there somewhere. Oh there is. Wait, where is it? It's here? Oh. It's right here. Oh of course it's a tile right beneath the entrance. Okay. So it's probably set up like that in the other room too. So now we know where the uh, the invisible block is. And watch me die now before I can even get the freaking <laughs> ice beam. I'm gonna definitely kill all these guys and hope that, that some of them drop health. Come on! Wow, nothing. Okay, actually, let me let me notate this on my map because I see there's doors and it's starting to get complicated again. So this is not the end. This is actually. A secret passage thing. And then there is a door. Oops. I want my nice straight lines. So there's a door to the left here, which we will check out in a moment. Which we will check out essentially immediately because I hit the bottom of the corridor. Oh shit! <laughs> I I thought I almost got knocked into that guy and then I was gonna insta die right here. But okay, so. So it's like this. Oh man. 
Let me... I don't want to imply that this leads to over there, so let me erase that. Just make that line a little bit shorter. Okay. Oops. And hopefully... Oh, what the hell are these guys? I don't know. I don't know what these guys are, so I don't know what their patterns are. I don't want to move because I'm afraid if I move it, it's going to change their AI, like their aggro thing. Okay. Those guys are dead. Good. Oh, short room. Wait, what? Okay, good. I haven't shot a red door in such a long time, I don't remember if they were supposed to flicker or not, and that door wasn't flickering. Really hope this is ice beam. Well, it doesn't matter, whatever it is. Whatever it is, is good that I got the upgrade. Yeah, that, that looks like an ice beam. So I guess it's always on. Alright, let's check. What the heck is this? Then would you use save states? I do not use save states. Or I have not been using save states. How do I get it back out now? <laughs> that is ASP, congrats, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I would not have thought to, to bomb all of those quicksand places. Why is this here but I can't actually... Okay, whatever. Um, so you input password every time. Yeah, well, when I say every time, I've only I've only streamed this twice. So yesterday or two days ago when I f did my first stream, I just started the game. Then when I ended that stream yesterday, I, I took a screenshot of the password. And at the beginning of today's stream, I uh, I put in this password, and I've been playing ever since. You can just continue after that. Yeah, so if you die, you can just you can just press start or something like that to continue. But like when I end the stream today, I'm gonna take a screenshot of, of the new password and then at the start of the next stream I'll re-enter it again. I'm just starting. Okay, cool. Alright, let me <laughs> Basically there's two rooms. I don't wanna not gonna spend too much time drawing it out perfectly for just for completion. This is where the ice gun is. And I guess that's enough. That's so there's my updated map. Oh shit, okay, so that's what they do. I guess when you walk be near below them, they dive. So does he stay frozen forever or, or what? How does this work? Oh, okay, so after a few seconds, he unfreezes, I guess. Wait, now the flies are here. Dang. And he's chasing me, look at that, he's he's following me around. What a bastard. Just leave me alone. What the heck? Go away. Wait, I can't even make this jump. Oh shit, I took damage. Okay, we might have to do this trick. Nope. Wow, I am going to die. Oops. Oh, made it, okay. And look at this, look at this, he, he flew through the wall. What a cheater. Um. Okay, so we have Ice Beam, where do we want to go? I don't need this thing. 
Ah, uh, there we go. I guess I want to go down here. So let's see. If I'm here, I go left, 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 left. I go all the way left until we get to the vertical thing. Then I go down. All right, got it. Hey man, it is blind. It's your call. Yeah, I'm just talking out loud. I'm narrating my thought process. Oops. Oh shit! Oh, am I fucked? I'm fucked, aren't I? There's no way- Oh, no, I made out! Oh shit! But this guy's- Is he gonna fuck me? Let's see. Okay. Let's get out. Oh shit, I didn't make the jump! Oh god, okay, whatever, that's fine. You have technical goal mode, the rest is up to you. Sounds good. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna spawn here, and then if I just go right... Right up, right down. Okay, I think I got it. Is this just me or do I do less damage now? Like, I need more shots to actually kill this guy. I do like half damage, I guess. Or maybe the first shot doesn't damage, it just freezes, and then the second shot damages. I don't know how I feel about that. I have to shoot twice as much to kill things now. I guess it's good because I have new capabilities, but uh, it means more button mashing. Yeah, that's the problem with the ice beam? Yeah. Whatever. It's a trade-off, but you can freeze things in place and get to places you couldn't before. Yeah, exactly. We are all on the same page, it seems. I feel like in the other game, like in, in Super Metroid, you could turn off all your beams. Like, if you didn't like Ice Beam, you could turn it off. I guess not in this game. Unless there's a button that I don't know about that turns it off. Yes, you can. Yes, I can turn it off. In this game, there are really two beams. You get one that replaces the other. Wait, does that mean I can lose the ice beam? Hopefully the other beam does a superset. Oh, why did I do that? That was so dumb. Hopefully the other beam does a superset of what this beam does. Because if I, like, I lose... Because if you're telling me like I would have to... Um... Like, if I accidentally get the other beam, but I still need the ice beam, then I have to, like, go back and get the ice beam again. That sounds like a, a real annoyance. But you know what? I, I bet you that is what you're saying. Because I, I noticed that in this game, when you pick up a power-up, it's still there. Like, you can come back and pick it up again. Yes, you can in Super Metroid. Oh, okay. So you're, that's what you meant. But in this game, you can't. Oops. Also, they stack in Super Metroid if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I never got that far, so I don't know, but it sounds plausible. You get them. That you can activate both of your beams at the same time to combine them or something. All right. So now we have the gold vertical room. Yep. And then based on this map, I think we want to go down. Yeah, and then into this elevator. So they do in all the other games that allow that 
barring primes. I love that feature. Combining the uh, combining your multiple beams. It sounds good. It sounds OP to be able to do that. Oh wait, did you see? I see that. Did you guys see that glitch? Like I think I opened like I glitched a door into existence or something like that. I wonder what would happen if I had gone through the door. Would it like soft lock or something? Or warp me to a, a, a room that I'm not supposed to be in? Oh, hey, 3M. I'm gone. Good luck, Nebu. Thank you, Keg. Sorry, I'm going to mute because I'm about to cough. Okay, thank you, Keg, Kagiro sama for, for tuning in. Have a good rest, sleep. Actually, this is how I can disengage now, I guess. Because I can, if I don't want to deal with those bullet guys anymore. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, that's fine. Can I Keg? Yep. Yeah. See you, Keg. Oh shoot! Oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna die here. I'm not gonna make it across this jump. I'm gonna choke. <laughs> what the hell? I made this jump so many times before and now I can't make it. Okay, there we go. Just had to go further to the right than I, than I was expecting. Oops. Wow. Uh, do you serve with missiles? You don't serve with missiles. You have to find missiles. Cool, thanks. Oh god. So like the pattern for farming is different now because of the freaking ice beam. Like I'm not, I had memorized like a rhythm for for farming with the, with the normal gun, but now I have to learn a new pattern for farming with the with the ice beam. It's gonna screw me up for a while. Very nerve wracking, actually. Until oh shit, until you learn a new rhythm. Oops. Oh. Oh shit. Wow. I'm just gonna farm to 100 now. One. Two. Three. Uh, I might. Oh no, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I might be in that infinite loop again, okay. Okay, so now. Now we're going to Purple Goo Elevator. Looks like we head to the right to clouds over lava. So 
here's cloud over lava. Yep, that looks like clouds over lava to me. Still can't shoot down though. You can shoot down, you can shoot like diagonally in, in, in Super Metroid. I missed that feature also. It's actually infuriating how many um, one tile tall enemies there are in this game, given that you can't shoot down. <laughs> like, you would think if, if they design a game where you have to shoot, you can only shoot like at standing height, then they should make the majority of enemies two tiles tall. Can I shoot this? Can I freeze this guy? Yes, I can. Oh, he changed directions. Am I screwed? Can I get out of this or am I screwed? I feel like I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, I made it out. Oh god! What is this BS? Good thing I farmed to 100. Okay, now in vertical purple goo. I think this is- I could not reach this place before, so this is a new spot. Can I go even higher? Maybe I can, but let's- let's check this for now. Oh wait, what? I can't kill that guy? Okay. I think- I saw my bullets go through some of the bricks there, so I think there's an opening there. And I guess the intent is- the reason you can't kill that guy is so that- oh fuck. Is to set you up so that you can go through the secret. So where is that secret thing? Was it? Okay, it's that tile there. Mm, let's see. Is that the right height? Nope. I feel like that's also not the right height. Oh, this might be good. There we go. Hang on, I need to write this shit down. I am not updating my map properly. <laughs> um... I need a lot more room. Shit, how am I gonna do this? I use this, this lasso, yeah. So we are going to select. All of this, copy and paste it, slide it way down and over to the side over here. And so 
There's actually There's at least one other door this way. Then there's a um Here we have to freeze the octopus over here. Oh shit! <laughs> I looked at the chat and then that fucking I don't know what that was a seahorse spat at me and killed me. I'm off to bed. Have a good night, everyone. See ya, Nick. I'm probably gonna head off soon too. Like I feel like I'm gonna die very soon, and 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 when I do, I'm probably gonna stop. Oh god! Look at that fucking artillery seahorse right there. Oh shit! Okay, I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh god! Missiles. One, two, three, four, five. Get the fuck out of here. Oh fucking you motherfuckers! Ah. Oh. Oh. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it here because because it's um it's twelve thirty a.m. and it's um it's a it's a work day for me. I have work tomorrow, so I don't want to. I didn't I didn't want to stay up too late, but there were so many so many supportive viewers here. I couldn't just you know I felt like I had to keep going on, but whatever. I'm, so I'm gonna kill myself now so I can get a password. Take a screenshot of that. Um, paste this new image. You see my t triple screen setup. Just gonna crop to this. So here's a new password we're gonna use to start the next stream tomorrow, or not not necessarily tomorrow. Whatever next time is, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Um. It's, this is the password we're going to use for next time. Meanwhile, let me open up my Twitch homepage and find someone to raid. We're going to raid Dragon Hunter G. Let me just make sure. He doesn't have like raids disabled or something like that. You can't. Ra he does have raids disabled. Okay, so never mind. We're not gonna raid that person. We're going to instead. <laughs> raid 8 bit verse. I can't raid that channel either. Dang. What is it? What is it with people not enabling raids? Whatever. Ruslug. I don't know who Ruslug is, but sure, why not? We are raiding Ruslug. I don't know what they're playing. Are they even on right now? Let me go check their their channel here. What are they playing? They are playing Z1R. So I guess that's Zelda One Randomizer. ABNS practice and runs. I don't know what ABNS is, but you know what? It's Zelda. It's a Nintendo Entertainment System. It's gonna be fun, right? Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Metroid stream. Hope you guys enjoy the Zelda stream coming up. Uh, thanks, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, thanks for all the support, everyone. Hope to see you guys next time.